Hi, Jules Plus Vegan, and welcome to week 34 of our 45-week countdown to the best version of ourselves in the new year. Week 34, my friends, we are down 11 weeks already. If you're just joining us, you are right on time. This is the perfect time to choose health. For those who are in for the long haul, I would love to know in the comments how I can support you with your goal. As usual, I will restate that my goal is to attempt to get to, not attempt, just to get to, to achieve. That's what I want to say. My goal is that I will achieve my goal weight of 128 pounds by New Year's Eve of 2020 when I will have clear vision of my hotness. <laughs> I can resist. Um, but seriously, you know, for 5'7", Irish Norwegian build, I think 128 is spot on and I look forward to that. So what am I doing to get there? That's a great question. I am definitely part of Dawn's Happier Rebounder Challenge, which I believe anyone can still join. And she has an open group on Instagram if you'd like to find that. So I generally um, do 27 minutes of rebounding and 10 minutes of arms because I can't wait until these arms are back to what I loved and appreciated about them. They are getting stronger every day, but there is a lot of extra. So I'm going to wait for the reveal on that. So I continue to do that. Recently, I've only been doing 20 minutes, which is kind of a baseline for most of us um, because I've been making up the days when I thought I had a urinary tract infection, which turned out to just be dehydration. So yay me uh, getting in my gallon a day, which I most certainly have done. And I look forward to those numbers changing. So I'm getting in my gallon of water, Dawn's Rebounder Challenge. I'm still doing my rosary just for my spiritual health. Of course, I make my Jules Bliss vegan uh, videos. A small slip the other day when I was so incredibly sick. <laughs> you know, I haven't had migraines in a while, and I certainly haven't vomited as a result of them. And I can only be super grateful for that. But that did kick my beep, if you will, right? So I'm doing all of those things. I'm writing my food in my journal. Of course, I am doing my urge jar. And as I suggested, I totally busted my other one in like three places. So I'm using uh, one of my canning jars, which seems much better. I'm being a little careful, but I don't want to be too careful. I wrote on the top, of course, my urge jar with a butterfly. And I am absolutely contributing to that. So what it is is also Teacher Appreciation Week and Nurse Appreciation Week. If you're either of those professions, yay for you and thank you for your service. And of course, I'm a teacher. So I had seven urges today. And again, you know, to admit to an urge and to be able to sit it out is a triumph. So I'm fine with having seven of them. But part of it is because what my primal brain, uh, which I refer to as my inner child, was fit throwing over was because seemingly everybody was enjoying um, the meal that they created uh, for teachers today and we weren't getting one. So my little kid was stomping her feet and saying, well, what did we get instead? And what it is, is they put out an agenda and they said, um, today was going to be Dickies, which was meat and beans and coleslaw and rolls. And that's a so no for me. Tomorrow's an ice cream bar. Peace out. Uh, Wednesday is a treats bar. Um, Thursday is a continental breakfast. And Friday is a pizza day. So it's kind of interesting to me because at my last district, they actually gave trinkets and things rather than food. They had like one day where they actually had like a lunch. Um, but they gave a bunch of little things like... Um, you know, teachers are special because a uh, number one teacher, they were like writing pads and um, keychains and mugs and things like that, which I kind of would most certainly prefer. But one thing that was very generous was that when I went in today and I, I just wanted to say, hey, you know, because I wasn't going to stick around, they actually got me a little bowl of cut fruit, which was so sweet. And I was like, wait, what? Um, which was really cool because not only was it suggesting that I've been consistent enough in affirming that I'm a vegan, that they actually believed me, um, but also that I was kind of willing, like able to witness to that uh, way of eating because I sat there while they consumed theirs. And remember, I was eating Dickies a year ago, let's be fair. Um, and was able to just eat my fruit, and, you know, talk and shoot the breeze. And 
So I had to earn a few urges because my little kid was stomping her feet and saying, yeah, but what treat do we get? And there was a few other uh, things that triggered me. I had to run some errands, which puts me down that dark mile of food. I'm such a stuff like that. But I made it. I have my urges. I'd like to know anyone else who's using that urge jar and how it's serving you. Um, so, you know, I continue to write my food down in my journal the day before. I'm being very consistent about it. And it's, it's a real breakthrough for me. And I'm just happy. I'm just happy to be on a long-term goal to have you guys to share with and support and be supported by. Kind of had a breakdown. I was telling my husband um, that I needed to call Tanny Raw. And if you're not familiar with Tanny Raw, look her up on any social media platform. And right now she's conducting the Tanny Raw Reset, which is a phenomenal opportunity to learn all about yourself and all about various methods for choosing wellness in every capacity, mental, spiritual, emotional, physical, and certainly, you know, your food choices. And it's just phenomenal. But the reset closed a couple days ago, and I only get paid once a month as a teacher. And so my husband was like, I know we're late, but couldn't you like call Tanny Raw? You, you could write her. I can tell you really need support right now. And um, you could write her and, and maybe she could still let you in and we'll find a way to get the money. He's so beautiful. He is so beautiful. <laughs> Gosh. So he did actually find the money. And I had to really pray about it because the first reset I did was in July of 2017. And I, again, like I said, I had just started... Um, even investigating food, sort of, in May of 2017. And all of it was very new to me. I was tripping along with, uh, you know, some vegetables, some little snacks that I thought were healthier than others, Nature Valley granola bars, um, Pop-Tarts, but no frosting, uh, you know, peanut butter crackers, and then full vegetables and also goat cheese. I mean, I was just trying to change any way I could. I was, I didn't know. And then I finally found Tanny on uh, social media in October of 2017. And I kind of started just binge watching her videos and trying to get a sense of anything at all. And then finally, um, in July, I did the first reset and it was a blessing because it was summer and I could totally give my undivided attention to my food choices, the videos, trying to get a grasp on things. And that was kind of my first real step up. And then finally in January for my birthday, I asked my husband to support me in doing it again. But it was starting right when school was starting back. And so that whole month I was super stressed out because I was desperately trying to watch the videos and I don't know how to just watch them. I have to take notes. I comment like on every other thing she says. And I was really overwhelmed by the experience. Like 30 days couldn't get to me quick enough because I was just so obsessed with doing it well. And so I was like, we're in the last week of school. I have a million things. I mean, from state testing to report cards being due to trying to move out of my room, um, to seeking another job. And I was like, you know, as much as I would love that support and to be in those chat rooms, it would probably be way too stressful for me. And so I just had to love my husband and tell him let's hold that money for July because I know a bunch of us are going to join that July reset sort of as a reunion. And I'm really looking forward to that. So he was like, but what can you do? And I thought, you know what? I got to delve deep. I have to share on Jules Plus Vegan. I have to share on Instagram. I need to use my urge jar. I need to get up, you know, earlier in the morning for myself. And I was like, you know, Tanny Raw has 2,700 videos. I might not have the benefit of a chat room, but she has 2,700 plus videos. And I could certainly, you know, continue to watch those and I gain strength from those, you know? So... I'm just trusting the process and knowing that I can gift myself with that in July when I can give my undivided attention without undue stress and that I am blessed as long as I continue to share even when I'm less than perfect. So thank you for the grace of being here. Again, let me support you. Like if you like, join us if you haven't. And until we talk again, my friends, truly trust that you are blessed.